a demo to create an online oscilloscope. First I restart my PIC32 with the MIF.n module. It creates an uh, soft access points. I connect to it. It's um, encrypted, but the Windows already know the password. So we see here a client is connected. So the behavior of the whole stuff here. I use this diagram. Uh, is that it? So we see here the diagram of the bandwidth. The red bar is the upstream and a green bar is the downstream for no there's no downstream. Downstream means from the pick to the client. Next step is I go to the main web page of the demo. And this is what we uh, already know. We see data is coming in. And I have added some new uh, sub pages. Um, because this is all the time polling, I stops this. I, for this I use the network configuration. And now it stops pulling and the bandwidth is going down. From here I open the real-time data stream. No, a JavaScript library is pulled out of the memory of the PIC32, loaded into the browser and creates now the image. For every four bytes for values that are sent or pulled off the uh, memory from the PIC32, uh, this is done every 100 milliseconds. So we see an average downstream of somewhere here around up to 64 kilobits. We see it is moving here. And these are very small packages and they have to be acknowledged. That means that the upstream is something uh, like the same as the downstream. This is a TCP flow uh, uh, control. And so we have upstream, downstream, more or less the same. Um, okay, I close this web page here. Mm, oh, uh, maybe at this point I can decrease this polling frequency and now it goes up and now we see sometimes some errors. This data that we see here by the way are artificial data that's created by the PIC32 in an own free RTOS task. And uh, this task uh, creates just a counting number. It counts a 16-bit value so it goes up from 0 to 64 uh, kilobit and then back. That's why we see a, a thought loose sine wave. Okay, we see at 50 milliseconds polling frequency of the web browser, we see sometimes error. I go back to 100 milliseconds or I can send it up to one second. So it's going less than uh, like before. This is back to one millisecond. So now the Browser is the master. He pulls with this frequency every hundred millisecond data out of the memory. Okay. For this, he opens the sockets, exchanges the data, and closes the sockets. This is a lot of stuff to be done. A web socket is compared to this more nice in the behavior. Now also the JavaScript library which is needed is loaded out of the memory and WebSocket means I connect here, it opens from the browser a socket and it stays open. I can send a an hello and there is just an echo of this and the hello is sent back. From here I can send disconnect. The interesting thing is that I can start here now with a command that I have defined, start stream, sending data from the PIC asynchronously to the browser. And then I have 
also a stop stream. I stop it, make here disconnect. And the format is the same as we had before. It's ASCII values and every 10 milliseconds, four values are sent in the form of ASCII. If I go down, I said here stop stream, which was send it. And it's in. this is one is echoed back and the whole thing is then closed. Okay. From here, I go, I combine now the graphic with the WebSocket. So that means I go now to real time WebSocket stream. Java library is pulled out of the memory. It's there and I connect. And what we see here now is that the browser is synchronously following the PIC32. What we also recognize is that the bandwidth is lower. WebSockets are much more effective in sending data in one direction continuously. I have uh, created also some commands here, set delay. That means there is an own free Atos task which is set to 10 milliseconds. Every 10 milliseconds four values are generated and sent to the client. I set it now with the command, you see it's recognized, task delay is now 100 milliseconds and we see it. What you also recognize is that there are no errors here in between. So, um, I can go for example to 5 milliseconds and you see a changed behavior of the display but in the video there's a different uh, um, frame rate uh, used than here on my screen, so in the video you will see something different. Okay, I disconnect from here and uh, go back to the uh, this client here. I connect again. Uh, down below you see in this log it's opened again. And one command that I've also added to see, reset commands, it is recognized. And it resets the PIX32. The access point is started and the Windows is pulling it and my client is connected again. I press the reload to refresh the web page. You see the JavaScript library is loaded out of the memory and here we are again.